Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 311. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Magic Trick 307 to 315. Hey, in this video, we have some product codes from another company, and here are our prefix. And we need to check through this list and find out is this one one of these? So, really, it's a logical formula we need. We need to say, are the th first three characters of this equal to this, or this, or this, or this? So here's how we'll do it. And I'll show you a couple different ways to do it. The first, the long way, and then a shorter way, and then an, a variant on that. Hey, this is three logical tests, so we'll use the OR function, equals OR. And OR just takes as many logical tests up to, I think it's 255. If any one of them comes out to be true, or will report true to the cell. So we're going to say equals or just left, left of this, comma, 3. That way it will always extract the first three characters, which is the prefix. Is that equal to, and now I'm going to click on this cell right here. And I need to lock this going down, so I'm going to hit F4, F4. Now that's the first logical test. I'm actually going to copy this. I'm going to put a comma, and I'm going to paste it again, Control V, comma, Control V, comma, Control V. So now I'm on the fourth logical test, close parentheses. Now that won't work. I just want to uh, double click this. I'll show you a couple ways to edit cell references and formulas. Double click, and then click here and hit F4. Another way is actually to point your cursor to the edge and click and drag. And then point to the edge and click and drag, because there's a bunch of them up there. So you can do it that way also. And you can see that now they update. So either double clicking and to highlight the cell and then clicking, or just pointing to the edge and clicking and dragging. Now, uh, this will. there's our four logical tests. Control Enter, and then double click and send it down. So sure enough, um, this one is not DDD. This MNS is not. NDF is not. And our trues, that one we have. HHT we have. This one we do not have. So that one worked. Now let's try something uh, a little bit shorter, but this will um, require Control Shift Enter because we're doing an array. Equals or Control V because we still have that uh, from before. But instead of just a B9, let's just do the whole range like that. And then you got to lock it going down. So I'm going to hit F4, F4. Close parentheses. Now, because we're asking the left, which gives us one uh, three characters from here, to look at a range, it'll return trues and falses for all four of these. If any one of them comes up to be true, or will report true to the cell. So now, because this is an array formula, I'm going to have to hold Control and Shift and Enter. Double click and send it down. Sure enough, I get the same series of trues and false. Now, I'm going to hit F2, copy this, Control C, escape. Now notice we had to do Control Shift Enter. Let's try this over here. Slightly different method though. Put it in edit mode. I double clicked or hit F2, Control V. And instead of using the cell references, we can highlight the cell references. And the F9 key is evaluate, so evaluate. Usually I show you this in many videos to help us understand big formulas. We're looking at certain part of the formula. We hit F9 to look and see what does this evaluate to. But here, we're using it to convert a range to an array. So that means that we don't even have to know the array syntax. Curly bracket to begin, curly bracket to end. Semicolons mean row, commas mean columns. If you scroll over here, you can see these are separated by rows. Now, the reason why we do this is because then you don't have to do Control Shift Enter. You just Control Enter, and OR understands that array syntax, and it doesn't require Control Shift Enter. So I'm going to hit Control Enter, or just Enter, any, any method of putting it in, and click, double click and send it down. And sure enough, that works just fine, just the same. Now, if these things would change, then this formula would be better, right? Because anytime you can. Uh, build in cell references that are looking at formula inputs. If these formula inputs change, then that's how you want to do it. But if they're not, you know, you can just hard code them in. You don't have to waste real estate in your spreadsheet, and the OR won't require 
Control-Shift-Enter. All right, we'll see you next trick.